Hi there, Ken from Tenny Bit Repair Guide. If you want to determine really quick if your speaker is blown off or not, let me show you. You need a multimeter that can measure continuity or, you know, ohms. So we're going to put that into that. See the ohm sign? It's also shown where to put the probes. Always the black one in common, and then the red one where you see the ohm sign. The other one would always be for amps, uh, for uh, uh, current, and you don't use that for this. So, now we're ready to measure. So, what you need to know is also that, um, typically you can see on the back of the driver what impedance it is. And you see an ohm sign, and you see there it says oh, 8 ohms. It doesn't always say that. Um, so what you can do, if you have two speakers, what you typically will do in a stereo um, uh, setup is that you will measure the one that uh, doesn't have a problem and then measure what it has for, for this called DC resistance. And if you look in the data of the actual woofer, not just speaker, your whole speaker, but the actual driver, if you find that data, that data is called RE. And it stands for, um, it is the resistance under DC voltage. But since we're dealing with a music signal, which is like more like alternating current, not entirely, but it's, you know, it's going around a zero point where it goes plus, minus, plus, minus, and that's how it makes that movement on the speaker. Um, there, in that case, you have impedance, and that impedance is changing throughout the frequency. We'll just talk more about that in another video. But for, for, uh, for this sake, you measure on the fresh one that, for example, you have 3.2 ohms, and then you can assess that as a 4 ohm impedance speaker. So, um, but you know, even if you don't know any of that and you have no access to find out and both spe uh, speaker drivers are blown, you can still get some idea if it's really bad, at least. So I'm taking one here that I know is bad and all you do is simply just put the probes on plus and minus and it's important that the speaker driver is disconnected from the, the the speaker uh, the actual speaker at least one of the wires going to the speaker needs to be disconnected so that there is no circuit going through the actual crossover or some of the other drivers inside that speaker so we're going to put the probes on here you see there's no there's no response on our Gauge, oh, that's a little bit. It's saying 11 to 23 mega ohms. That's not good. That means that the coil in here inside has been burned off or severely hurt. So let me measure on one that I know that works. You can see. Give it a moment. See here, 6.2. And that's typical for an 8 ohm speaker, up to 6.8, even up to 7 point something, you will find your 8 ohm speaker. It depends on how much inductance it has. Don't have to worry about that. But just know that if it's completely out of range, like into the 100 ohms or 20, even 20 ohms and on above that, it is burned off. Another situation it could be if it's melted into one core, then it will be significantly low. Then it will be like zero or one or something like that. Then that means that it's burned off. Of course, if you're dealing with a cast area, big subwoofer, you can have a certain configuration where those can be all the way down to one or two ohms. 
but you will you you will have to look into the data there find it online find this subwoofer online and look at what it's supposed to have for this re for example or impedance now you know there's a little bit of difference between them where re is a little lower than the actual impedance but so you just measure the resistance through the voice coil and then you can determine if it's burned off i hope this wasn't too confusing here's ken from tanning repair guide take care guys